G'day everyone, Paul Daniels here. Got a question for you all. Instead of me telling you what to do, I want you to give me some advice on what to do. Now, as you know, I run Open Broadcaster in Linux and uh, I've been using that for a couple of years and it seems to be working all right. But the trouble is I've always been stuck at 30 frames per second and it's always been a little bit marginal with the particular setup that I have. Now, currently I have an i5-8400 with about 16 gigs of RAM and I'm using a um, Kona HDMI 4 port capture card. It does a pretty good job, but like I said, I really want to push out to 60 frames per second at HD. I'd rather go for the higher frame rate at the standard, like, high def, rather than trying to go to 4K. So, um, so I've got about 650 US dollars on a budget, and I'd like to... Basically, I just need RAM, mainboard, and CPU. And look, I know a lot of people are going to straight away say use AMD, and believe me, I'm a big AMD fan. I particularly love the Opteron series, but I am going to stick with the Intel because I am running Linux. And when it comes to Linux and graphics, the Intel um, UHD, uh, the integrated in graphics, just seems to work more consistently dependable uh, for me, particularly when I'm using multi head displays. Now, I know some of you are going to try and persuade me otherwise, but I really am not going to go there. So if you try and tell me, I'm just going to ignore it, okay? I know that's been difficult, but I'm basically setting the constraints here. It, um, I really just need to know, has anyone else out there used Open Broadcaster at 60 frames per second using the internal graphics, uh, no GPU? Again, Linux is terrible when it comes to GPU support. It either... You know, has issues on multi-head or it uh, runs the GPU at maximum power and cooks everything and of course you remember I run this machine 24-7 it runs in the workshop so that's a moderate amount of power being wasted whereas if I stick with the Intel it throttles down goes to sleep no dramas comes back up no dramas so I'm not so much looking for the ultimate ultimate package I'm just simply after something that is going to work and I'm kind of curious if anyone else out there has had success at 60 frames per second so I'll show you the setup I'm looking at uh, let's see here we go uh, memory you know 16 gigs it should be enough for what I'm doing it's not super critical as far as I can tell for this sort of thing the main board I'm going for this uh, Asus Prime B660 because it has three digital display outputs already so if you have a look at the thing come on as you can see it's got yeah display port and two hdmi ports and that's a good combination for me because on the existing one that i have the i5 8400 it has uh, hdmi dvi and um hd 15 or VGA as it were and of course the VGA one's a bit you know a bit sus so I'm happy with the ports that are on this main board and the cost is quite cheap too and so far as I can tell the i5 12500 might just be able to do the 60 frames per second but I'm not really 100% sure so I would like your input as to if you think it's doable or whether I'm going to have to go up to the i7-12, uh, whatever, 12700 or something like that. The other reason I like, I hope I don't want to get too much higher than the i5-12500 is because this will only need the standard heat, um, heat sink on it and fan combination. So it's a very simple, dependable, reliable setup that can last for years without having any dramas. Um, I don't have any problem in building more complicated PCs. I mean, God, the last 30 years I've been building them, so it's not a problem. And this is why, though, through experience, that I prefer to stick with something that is as simple as possible and will do the job because I don't really care for all the fancy fancy or the bling bling as it were because it's just more stuff to have to worry about later. Stick it to the simple. The question is, will it give me 60 frames per second? Maybe I'll have to just buy it and find out. And if it doesn't, it'll just be like a mid-grade 
gaming machine or something. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I appreciate it. I know it's not often I ask for things, but I'd like to see what your thoughts are. Thanks very much.